Right. Run the checks. I've still got tip. What's left there is, you've got to stand there with it above you. jacket and gloves head up there we go about a minute walk maybe two minutes and a lot more wind because higher Me up to the top ridge. Smoke down in the valley there, going vertical, and then showing a wind from the north. Well, that's only up to a couple hundred feet from the look of it, or that you can tell from how far you can see the smoke. across there maybe. It's a wee bit against the light but not too badly. We should give a decent shot. Pools of water. So camera across there. Strangely enough, it's gone from no battery, or what I would assume to be no battery, to showing one tiny little bar. And normally, fully charged is when you sort of see three, four bars of battery. <laughs> so maybe it goes from black, meaning it's fully charged, to white, meaning it's empty, which seems unlikely, but it might be. I say, just arrived today. Now when you look at the wind turbine that wasn't turning when we drove past you can see it's uh, turning now but you see the direction and the fact that the blade disappears yep it's got northerly down there and a good northerly so the wind down there much like the smoke drift across there is the exact opposite wind direction to what we have up here Double bounce, check again, and up it slides, backtracking a bit. Lots of water in the flatlands down there. So, we could end up flying northerlies here in uh, half an hour's time. <laughs> God knows. See, tomorrow it's meant to be northerly, so maybe it's just arriving early. Flat cam mirrored on the reservoir. You can see the top of the inversion when you look at those cumulus clouds, see how flat the top the level is. So it's hitting a, a warmer air level at about, I don't know, 4,000 feet. If 
five, something like that. So currently that's got a wee bit more east in it up here. Not enough for a guaranteed top landing. Might put in a wee flight simply because I've got the camera on test. Backtrack again. Harness. Tiptoeing. We test. And stop it. Yeah, it's a lot more east, southeast now I'd say, up here. As you can see where the angle of my wall is 90 degrees to the wind. So I'd try right brake, left hand on that A, and I'd untwist the risers first. Complete 360 duck. Lock this in so it can't fly. Double twist now. Where the tactile visual audio would have picked that up and avoided it. Whereas if you reach for the brake handle, you can have all sorts of. See again, you just reach for the brake handle. You've got to go back to the basics to keep hammering into everybody. Touch, yeah. visual, with it still on, lift up, and audio. All right. Think. Now the only other issue is you're right over left. I mean, I keep doing these checks myself, you know, I keep hammering them into everybody and then you need to step about two, maybe three metres to your right for the wind direction. That's pretty well straight into wind there. It's difficult to tell, but on the viewfinder it just looks a little bit soft. That's probably just the resolution of the screen. So okay, no flights yet, but uh, overall with the Met, compared to going to Bishop... Well, I wouldn't have advised that way today. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice day out. Yeah. yeah, I'm quite pleased with this so far. Uh, let's wait and see what the resolution's actually like, but as it's only designed as an insert into the main video, it should work quite well. Right, enjoy. So. Filming zoomed in to get the flat band. Okay, so with a wee tripod to help support it, it's still going to be a bit jerky. Let's see, 
Yeah, there we go. And we'll let go. So it's not bouncing. Like I'll get the clip right. So that's where it's sitting on the wee tripod. Is maximum zoom. And if I tap this rather heavy exploding hill thing, so you can see it vibrates about a bit, but that's not too bad. So essentially what that's showing is it's looking backwards. There's one turbine not far from here actually does run backwards. But what that's telling us is that the wind is coming down there. A minute ago it was northerly, down there it's northeasterly. Up here we've got southeasterly now. So I'll change the flat bands and I'll lift and then edit. And zoom out a bit. So what wouldn't be able to do really with the helmet cam there is zoom the flat bands. A lot of these fields are very waterlogged. That's not bad, it's steadying it with two hands. Right, let's zoom out wide again. Yeah. Handheld but just raised a wee bit. Stronger cycle coming through there, get it ready. The wing above you, so you know what's happening. Into takeoff, bounce it. Yes, I'm getting battery flash and warning. So yeah, definitely. When it goes black, that's the battery going down. Oh, so just in case I lose the memory, I'm going to shut it down now. Again, step. Some good cycles at the moment, and that's when you want to be able to bounce and take off. So you've probably got about a minute where if you can get off into lift, you might get some height. Once this lot blows through, it could just, you know, drop. We don't know. So that would be right hand on the A, left hand on the brake, look at the C and run round in the curved path, down slope and round to the right. So face the other way. Keep on the left brake, left brake on, right hand on the A. Start by going away from the wing and then round and down slope, away from the wing. Settle and surge it, surge, surge. Too slow. You've got to keep that brake on, left brake on, left brake on. Don't look at the wing, look around that way. Okay, left brake on, right hand onto the... Hang on a sec. Oh, you're upside down, that's why. So I don't have my glasses on at the moment, so apologies for that. But when you get these cycles in, you cannot afford to be like that. You're just not going to get off. You've got to have the wing ready, and that really means have the wing above you. So I've seen me take off when no other pilots are able to get in the air, and then they end up having to sort of have a, a well, actually, the longest ever was a two and a half hour walkout they had because they weren't ready. There was only one of the guys that was up there was with me, the rest were just other folks and they ended up having to walk out in the dark. Then there was a time up at Marone where I think it was four of them didn't continue on the launch and they had to walk down. So settle and surge it, check. But when you've got these wee cycles, you feel the strength of that was coming in. Yeah. You've got to be able to get off. And it's the start of the cycle, not the back of the cycle you want to launch in. So the sun's about to disappear because of the cloud. So that could be what's triggering this.
So I'll just keep checking everything. So the wind turbines down there are now showing almost pure east. And slowed down a bit. The further one still got northeast. Decent lift there just now. Right, gloves clipped together. Unlock the safeties, check gates, unlock safeties, check gates, tactile visual audio, check and acquire, recheck, slow, 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 recheck. Okay, so it's gone soft again. So that was what, four or five minutes? Checks. A wee bit more there. So all the land at the bottom is now in shadow. All the energy from the sun is just about to go. It is an option, but we could be getting wind shortly. We don't know. But standing on the ground with the wing on the ground, you get no information or no good information. If I'd been ready about three, four minutes earlier, I wouldn't have been too surprised if I got higher than the hill. Not maybe for long, would be. Now, have a look at the oil rigs. Okay, what can you tell me where they are? Right, now have a look in the bay area. What can you tell me there? Yes, does that mean there's wind coming in? Probably, yep. So we don't know, we could be getting a lot more wind shortly. Just that one swung round, the far one still northeasterly, the one near the recycle skip, sort of, you know, dump area, has gone more southeasterly, but it isn't turning. Ones down there aren't. But what we do know is that the sun is no longer heating up all this land, it's no longer heating up the town. Reservoir still mirrored. Now aviation wise we've still got a, a, at least an hour of aviation daylight but it, if we get the wind, great, stay. If we don't get the wind then as you say a flight down is certainly a good one. So we're about to lose the sun. Now that can, some, it, sometimes it triggers it but you know maybe for 10-15 minutes you get a lot more wind. Sometimes it just drops off. What we now need to find out is, is there going to be more wind? Is the energy from the last few hours going to start popping off the ground? 
So that's a lot more east again, another 10 degrees or so. So risk and reward, we've got plenty of daylight. It's launch and fly down or wait and see. Now, for this site, could you take off with any breeze direction, so long as it's not too windy, and still fly towards the car park? So is the risk and reward for this site, so long as it's not too windy, is it lower with the weight? Where say at Bishop, I mean I've launched Bishop with an easterly. Yeah, you know, for me it's easy, but clearly it's not you know not something people that do all the training should do. So seeing the sun's already down, regarding the cloud cover, we're not really losing much by waiting, but the wings will get damper. And again, the information's not on the ground; it's in the sky. Again, short brake travel, 21 year old, 2 3, or in the smaller sizes, comp wing. So that's why I'm waiting to go to the brakes. Checking the airspace. So at the moment, are we getting any indication it's going to get windier inland? If there's enough wind at the coast, how long do you think it would take for that wind to arrive from the coast to here? Could be 20 half an hour, but the wind at the coast is that down at sort of ground sea level. Could it be an effect from wind that's higher up? So then is it a case of looking and trying to make out what the clouds are doing that are above the coast? In other words, will that wind come down to us rather than come from the coast? Again, there's no one set wrong or right answer. When you look across at the smoke drift there, is it much more than there was half an hour ago? But the wind turbines down at the bottom aren't showing anything yet. Now also, well, it's nice and soarable in the southerly, in the northerly. You can have some great soaring in the westerly. How soarable is this site if it's easterly? You can get nice flights, but not very soarable. If it's thermic, or we had that bit of lift, then yes, that face works. But you need that energy from the sun. So what's your decision? Okay, once you've launched, I'll follow and film.